So what Columbus means to me, I'm going to go back to July 16, 2016, it's a trailer race. I was right here. Waiting for the green flag. The green flag. Oh, what's why I saying there is. So the green flag drops. I was in second gear. So now I'm in that. So it was a Monte Carlo, but it was my favorite. So when that happened, in the back, there was a SUV behind me, the pink SUV. It was ramming in my boat. I was like, no, I was like doing that, jerking the wheel back and forth like that. I'm going slow, but I was like that. Then I went that way, and then smashed into a couple other cars over there. And smashed the boat over there, hit a wall over there. I'm not doing that with this car, even though I'd like to. But that happened. So I went down here, and I tried to smash it into Purvis. He was up there. And so I went, I'm going down here. I think I hit the wall in the first time on there. So then I'm driving back. Then I can see like over there, was just nothing but lights. Well, other than lights up there, but up in the stands, it was just camera lights, some phones, and iPhones. Then I came back around, I think it did two laps or a lap and a half. No, a lap and a half. So I went back. And then there was a boat down here. I remember hitting that boat down there as I can't go down there because it's too muddy. Um, I'm coming back here later this week more. But then I hit the wall. That, wait. I think it's somewhere along here I hit the wall. Then Paul was up there. He was recording up there. I'm gonna miss that place up there so much. But it was fun. Remember the boat was over there. Remember by the scoreboard. It was right right through where the black dot is. Then I had chicken buckets from work that they were throwing away. And I put lids on them. Um and put them together, but they flew out of the boat. Of the boat, um, it was a lot of fun. It really was. It sucks that the place is closing, but we can't, we can't change it. So I'm just gonna go lap around here. It rained out last night. Congratulations to our champions. You guys deserved it. All of our drivers deserved all of it. The one thing I won't forget was with me and Josh in the car. So we, it was a lot late. Uh, I think it was a late model version of the two-seater. Oh my god, dude. I thought I was about to shit myself in that car. I really was. There's a sign. I'm gonna miss that. I remember. I'll go do a lap, another wrap, lap around. But it was fun. I want to do something before it closed. It's sad that's closing. And my family was sitting right. Up there, it was the first or second. I think it was the first two rows where that rail is. Not that one down there, but that one right there. They'd be sitting right up there, and I was talking my horn. It was fun. It was really fun. It sucks I can't do the crash wrong because of my eye surgery, but it sucks. But I want to do something before close. I think the fastest I went here in that Monte Carlo, I think it was 20, uh, I think it was 35, 35 or 40. 
I was up there the past two years. It was great. It was awesome. I love the view up there. I wouldn't miss it. So what Columbus Motor Speedway means to me. It, mean, it honestly means a lot. During the trailer race, I was down here because I evidently smashed the front back there. And I was stopped right here. I think, yeah. It was right over here. But I smashed the car and the battery was just exploded. And this is when they took it back there, you could just see the battery. It was like busted. It was just really bad, but it was fun. I mean, it's, it's sad to see the place go. But after... But all I've learned in those pits is just awesome. But I'm glad to meet everyone there and know everyone. I hope I can interview Burgess and Bill Cantley. Um, it's sad. I mean, the first time I came here was in July of 2003. I don't know the exact date. But it was a rain out. Jim Knuckles, I told the story many times before, but I'm gonna tell it again. Jim Knuckles, we went up to the office, me and my dad, and it was in the PT Cruiser, but my dad went to the office with me. Because my dad wanted to ask Jim if I can if he could take me out there into at the track. To ride on the track, just pray laps like what I'm doing. And the gym's like this, no, 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 I'll take you. My dad offered him $40, I think that's how much it was. But he offered him $40. And Jim's like this, no, 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 follow me. He grabs the keys to the, the Ford Windstar, the close more speedway van. And this is, that's when it just hit me that this is the place's home. And it really is. It's sad to see it go. It really is. There's a pond. I don't know how many cars have been in there. I was trying to, that's what I was trying to do, was trying to put the car in the pond, but I didn't do it. Um, the names that mean so much to me are Parsons and Cahills. Um, those two families mean so much to me. Uh, Bubba, my idol, Donald, my idol. Just, it, this place means so much, it really does. Um, it's sad, but we can't change it. So many memories that will live on. Uh, man, it's it's awesome. I remember during my after my surgery in 2005. That's when Jeff Gordon won Martinsville in the fall of 05. That um, that. I think it was Bubba and Matt. Yeah, it was. And they came up to my hospital bed. And they visited me. And I saw that that picture. And it's my favorite picture of me and them to the state. A um, couple other drivers came up there. Brian came up there. Um... I think it was Jamie Wetridge, one of the bumps. Jesus. Well, this place, this is the impact of those. The impact that this family, that every driver in here that means and does, it's just inspiring. It really is. I miss the track so much. It's a, 
what was that? It's been a great 70 something years. Sad to see it go, but it's 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 history.